Hello guys, hello everyone. Welcome back to my stream, and we continuing the Guardian of Galaxy Part Two. Semoga gamenya tidak bermasalah lagi. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. <coughs> gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 8,000 units is a small price. 8,000 to... units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking <laughs> bank, apparently. Okay. Hey! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? And Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. Mm -hmm. Ya, nggak bisa dilanjut ya. Nah, gue nggak ada motor cetar dua, biar gue. on nice, warm, dry planets. Paramitar did have a nice forest because it was dry. Just browsing, huh? All right, let's go. Can't leave it alone, can you, Quill? Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to talk some more. Depends. What do you want to know? How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. Well, we didn't know. What I didn't know was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, 
It's just a reminder. Yep. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay. Then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Are you 100% sure you want to... Controls me. Control me again. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe they were hatchet-wielding goons, and they were after Peter Quill. Who cares about the hatchet guys? It wasn't raining, and we weren't about to be selling one of us. Hey, I got an idea. How about we find some backwater world and go off-grid for a while? Nova Corps ain't gonna chase us forever. Worked for me in the past. <laughs> Quill? Backwater worlds are like his natural environment. The guy's tearing for Flark's sake. Hey, I heard that. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was ho I am That way I could down rocket always filtering it. I am Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. <laughs> Don't need to. Cheap scud like that don't have rare language packages, and even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years, Half the language. <laughs> TV didn't. Um, I know what it is. You. Oh yeah. I probably don't imagine the gardeners of the galaxy without downloaded somehow. I am It'd be nice. To Glad we had this little chat. I am awesome. Yeah. Cool. I thought you'd be thrilled to finally set foot on Seknarf 9, Drax, but you're awfully composed. In other circumstances, I would be thrilled. 
We will humiliate ourselves by trying to sell sentient lumber to Lady Hellbent. Mm. Don't she like lumber? What about the legend of her mighty battle axe? She possesses a number of weapons. Not all axes are meant to cut down trees. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Of course. It had to be raining. Okay, let's go. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Ah. Ew. Ah. Ouch. Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. <laughs> Finding more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. <laughs> Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by light. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some li- oh. Oh That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! Should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Our guys. Eh, not sure. Ain't moving now. We'd be wary, Rodent. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. I'm ready. Whoa! 
Outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets, but food. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't find out in here. Where the flark is she going? There's a trail going through the jungle! You try to find a way up! This husk should be easier to climb from the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time. The turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rotor would have shot it right now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Great. We made it halfway up. There they are! Wing controls! All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great! Everyone <laughs> watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Oh, this is really good. I'm going to put it on the board. I'm going to put it on the board. I'm going to kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. <laughs> Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it'll jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm-hmm. So, uh, these tracks, Gamora, you're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. The depressions are deep. 
This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. Okay. I'm gonna push this back. Please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave... No, just trying to stay ready. I took care of it. Fudge, Scott! I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with X. Where are you? Still checking things out. <laughs> nice hidden passage. Everything okay in there? Are you dead, Peter Quill? Or merely severely wounded? I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. Hey, um... Listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Mm -hmm. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. To the end of it. That's what I need. You done exploring, Quill? Because, uh... I really need to talk to you. Oh, yeah. There's something um, personal I need to get off my chest. What's going on? Look, I'm not sure about this whole selling Groot thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got, Will. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Like some kind of thing to be studied and kept in a cage. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just gonna assume it's funny? <laughs> Not sure I get where- th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine, have it your way. Come on, the sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Yep. We're fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. They must be out on the hunt. Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Yeah. Good enough. Can I stick a picture with you? No more. Oh, what's the matter with the gift there? What goes with it?
Камера. У, крайне. Эй, йоу. Oh my god. <laughs> this is further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go away. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary battery. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. Mm. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. His name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we'll have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn is. First. What about her sister Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a harlot. Right, right. Th that too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Yeah. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet? Uh -huh. Than lost? Not particularly. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. says everything with skin is monstrous to him. But it's less disgusting when they have fur covering it. Hey, thanks, bud. Do not chase our prey. Uh, now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. <laughs> not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our Quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs! Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I'm... Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. 
Very well. You sons of forking chogs! How will we cross? Don't face it. Look around, we'll find another way. know it's too far for you to What's Jatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Perhaps Lady Hellbender repelled an invading swarm, and it was among the spoils. There has to be something we can use. Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Grim. Fun way, guys. It would be easier to throw the rodent. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He you would still have three. No one's throwing rock. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over the I did not prove. You do know that aimless shooting isn't gonna scare the monsters away, right? Hey! My shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Hey! I found more ruins down here! Ah! Perhaps we could fashion a catapult. A miracle it's still standing in these storms. Drax, think you can topple this? I may have angered them. Them? Yeah. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's a pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Rise up, people. Yeah, yeah. Incoming! Yeah, We can fly these pieces straight to Lady Helden. Oh. Max, I'm not calling you bad, but... so sure this is the way the statues here didn't walk into place they were carried carried by whom for what purpose 
I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. All right, Gamora. Pretty sure it's this way. 50 units, that's me. You didn't even have 50 units. I no way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. Drax, some of your Lady Hellbender tidbits are questionable. You can say that again. More or less questionable than your flying skills, Peter Quill. He's got you there. No. Gamora, mind cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships, or one Chitari infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress. Nope. We even sure this is the right way. Yes. Now what's the holdup? Here. No. Just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Being crude of the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Plan A and Plan B, okay? Anyone else feeling ready to move on? Just go. No, you <laughs> just go and go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. <laughs> because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. A monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Oh, what a step. Yup, definitely saw the giant head. Go, 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 go. Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. You're not alone here. Mm -hmm. I got it. Alright, guys, anyone know what that is? A monster. Oh, uh, Running away. But that its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. 
We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Consume less charge. I would like to increase the progression. Mind picking up the pace? No, wait. Uh, yes. What? Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? I agree. Maybe part of the ship's still functional. Okay. Well done, Luke. Hello. So, where are we? Waiting for you. Hehehe. <laughs> this one. Let's Yes, this one looks good. What expression? Okay, what is special? so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. We got it, Drax. Probably here. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. Now, can I put the to you again, Lenore? No. Surprised this thing hasn't been picked clean for salvage. This planet is no place for carrion. He's got a point. Hard enough to land.
And here, let alone scour the surface for scrap. I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. No giant monster. All good. is so rusted out you can hardly see the blue long time since the war and this place is all kind of wet. feels like yesterday in all the worst ways agreed this is the what's that i hear the wing cables calling down to us they want a date with your sword gamora rocket you know what i'm thinking I could always throw a bomb at the wing strut. No! no! What's wrong with you? I was thinking Gamora could cut the cable. Gamora will figure it out. I'm not doing that. Evo, Drax. You can put it down here. Shall be done. At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Collect. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. What next, Peter Quill? <laughs> Maybe this <laughs> hell lady is so <laughs> important we can get no more from it. Bring back memories! Mm. Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. <laughs> One thing is clear. We would never have a accomplish this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that for sure. Ha! It is not getting bigger. We are getting closer. Thanks, Drax! You... What's Captain distracted up to now? If he calls us over, I'm done. Whoa, 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 guys! There's this totally sweet pile of crap on the ground. It's so interesting. Looks like there's a way down here. Well, you gotta see this ship. Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. Okay. Oh, bagus Starlord. Uh, with the mask on. Mora with the mask on. Oh, shit. Uh, drag. No, drag spaghetti. Put the mask on. Good. Okay, camera. This one, you know. Okay, camera. Okay, camera. Okay, camera. The mask on. Yep. Okay. 
Tombolnya juga tombol tengah, bukan tombol kiri. Oh, slimy. Uh, guys, you might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam, boys? Uh, you think? What do you mean, dear Smack, reach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something! Like what? Flark, Flark, Flark. Uh. Quill. Quill. Happened. 
I don't know. My blasts, they... I only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all. Big old scut like this. Just go, dude. Just... Please, the <laughs> guns me, alone. Me... I, I, quote, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys. Sorcery. <laughs> Sorcery. Here we go again. Here we go again. Let's fight them. I am ready. First one, I shot both bottom. One. Ah, oh. It's an ice cube. That's fun. We're so happy for you and your guns. Let's not fall in any more goof puddles. I prefer my jelly on toast! Oh, you need it. Climb up and over. Ding ding ding! Give that man a gold star. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Rocket, you can fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make us steps. Ah, impossible. You will not stay in place. You couldn't just hold it for a Drax. Oh, okay. You try again. Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. We've got to find a way to lock this place. I did it! Impressive, Keeper Now we got to get the next one out. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello? Shatari ship full of booby traps and death mechanisms? But you love both those things. Uh, you're right. I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Dra oh, what reeks in here? That. Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and nothing. You know what, Clarkin? I'm blowing it up. What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps and... What? Ha! Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Rocket, you okay? <laughs> yeah! It's dry now, too! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, man! Another murder tentacle! Careful! It might be playing dead. How do I get that to always on the wrong side. This time I insist we hurl the foul beast. And I insist we push muscles over the side of the cliff. To what end? Yours! <laughs> How many times do I have to say it? We're not throwing rocket. 
Ridiculous. You were holding us back to spare the beast's feelings. When has he done the same for us? Put him down. This be a lesson to you. Oh, I'll show you what a lesson looks like! Knock it off, guys! We're supposed to be professionals. We're better than this. I'm not. Maybe the beast and Chitauri installation stop our progress as unprofessional. Guys, I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. There is little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Oh, anybody else smell that? It really stinks back here. Yes, it smells putrid. Where is it coming from? Oh, oh what the fuck? Did oh. I miss something? Not talking. Not even breathing. I'm exploring. Ain't we done enough of that already? I'm pretty sure exploring is code. It means he went the wrong way, but it's too stubborn to admit it. In that case, Will's the greatest explorer I ever met. <laughs> Rocket, do we have a frostbite kit on the Milano? Worried about Quill misfiring his new toy? He might be the first time. He's playing the new toy. Yeah. You know, turning water into ice. Go off. I think I can see my house from here. What are you doing up there? <laughs> Scout type stuff. Scouting. It looks like we uh, need to keep going towards the fortress and not away from it. Excellent work, Peter. And, uh... In many ways, this planet reminds me of my home world. That bad, huh? Path is not a place for the weak. The punishing weather and lethal predators force every Kentucky to fight for survival. That's why you respect Lady Hellbender so much. She survived a place like this. And conquered it. What is that? Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret <gasps> That is disturbingly fragrant. <sighs> I am clenching every orifice right now. <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. Where? Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, it's a Wait a minute. Ah, go for it. No. Annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Peter! Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster work food. on your taste, but The cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... with our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you You're whispering? <laughs> The more thinks we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is, there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast, let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. 
Jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet. You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. It is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell. How do I get? Like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Groot says we should check things out over here. Groot, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Mm -hmm. Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster queen, how much are we asking for our monster? Wait, is this the right way? What do you mean, Dolphin? We're running a business here. We need to make a yes, okay. profit this time. Hey, Quill, better not forget what we talked about. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. Tree say. He says all this moisture is good for us and will make us grow. In your case, that is doubtful. Mm. I agree with Groot. It's important to stay hydrated. Not this hydrated. Special train to operate these things. Whoa, that is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the floor? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already. <laughs> supposed to be rare. 
So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. Exactly. If we even got that far, what if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corps intercepted us? They would have taken our beast. See? This is working out. Sure, in a Let's just get this done. Ooh. You can't be serious. Okay. It's farther than it looked. Much farther. It's a Flarkin Infinity Bridge, is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. In cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you Groot? Oh! Right. Cage. <laughs> the point of even getting the Flarkin thing is looking like we need business. Groot. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature, it's not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodent is I the one I am not that being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style if I got it. Dra Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? <laughs> to guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. <laughs> Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am good. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. Okay, whoa, whoa. A little bit close. Easy, big guy. Don't know what you heard, but we just want to bring you back a new friend. I know it can't understand me, but maybe it responds good to soothing tones. <sighs> Does anybody have like a campfire song or something we could sing to kill the time? Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. <laughs> okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Well, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1 0 0.3 clicks 4.5 0 0.4 clicks 0 0.5 clicks 0 0.6 clicks In whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? 
I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Next to the pets. Right. Whoop. Hang on, hold on. Warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, and wondering what might be out there. Mom okay. says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Andy says you can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. We'll make our stand. Don't give a damn. Let's see the reference This will be so cool. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, I am so full. Mom. Oh. <gasps> okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not going to sing. Mm -hmm. I like your singing. <laughs> well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. What? Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to oh, be falling off. Mom. <laughs> what did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh. What huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. Hmm. This one not so that bad. was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain <laughs> violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. <sighs> Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? <laughs> Come on. Pretty, please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't mm -hmm. push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Okay. Hmm. 
Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. Boring. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. My friend? Hand still stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my Where birthday. The hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for grandma and grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Oh, so sad. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Hmm. I know the real reason you don't want to finish our game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. This is the bad boy. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. The sky is clear. Wonder if mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie. Gonna have to get mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Meredith Quill. Perfect game. Not bad. Not bad. I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? No, your head is celestial. At last! Oh, I love this call, huh? man. We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. As I was saying, you don't trust me, Rocket? With Groot? Flark, no. I ain't putting his bark solely in your hands. Your call, Peter. You're just jealous my plan's better. You're green with envy. Better than black and blue. I'm sure you can trust Gamora with that thing that I was definitely paying attention to. I trust her with my life. I'd trust her with your life, too. Just not with groups. Hey, me. I've got a lot more experience sneaking into places than you do. I still say me and my tracking device would have better odds of finding him. Lame. Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. Well, yeah. you do live on a mud ball in the middle of nowhere. What's that? What he means is you will have. We're huge in the Kree system. What's in the box? A rare creature, last of his kind, and all around swell guy. Looks like a bush. It is a tree. I'm a talking tree. That's new. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Thanks, officer. Have a nice day. Officer? Whatever. <laughs> Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. The tree is no killer. We should be selling the angry rodent. Lady Hellbender will be displeased. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got an no name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. Hmm. It's a flarkin' army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen a worthless team. I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Unless she's got a fleet of Shi'ar dropships. Yeah, like she's got a bunch of ships to take her old monster mash on tour. 
I stand correct. Those ain't true. Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Great question. Next time, I'm flying. Indeed. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Are you flarkin kidding me? Look at this place! How's Gamora supposed to find you once we've sold him? I'll find someone who knows and listen. You're gonna ask for directions? Never said I'd ask. Screw this. I'm not gonna let you just wing it with Groot. Gamora knows what she's doing. She'll find a map or something. Because I'm the navigator, right? Then navigate yourself out of my way. I'm taking my tracking device, and I'll get him out myself. Kaleran Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Oh, a woman with expensive tastes. That's good news for our deal. Come on, we're a team. We stick together. All for one and one for all. That's surprisingly insightful. Did you just make that up? Uh, yep, just now. Totally off the top of my head. Follow me and pay attention. You will not approach Lady Hellbender's throne. If she chooses to approach you, you will remain still. No erratic movements. I am humbled by my king's confidence. Spare me your empty attitude. Apologies, my queen. I meant no offense. I know what you meant. Do not blame me for your food. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. Uh, I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this. Bring in the next seller and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of you. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star Lord. Hmm. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. The undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. Ah, such flesh. Hmm. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh. And what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Play along, man. Flatter her or something. <laughs> you got this. Just for the best. 
Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender, I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Your kind had been wiped out. Name your terms, Destroyer. Twenty thousand units. Twenty thousand? The creature is not monstrous like the creepy little beast. But it is a capable warrior and it possesses regenerative qualities. Also, it is the last of its species. Twenty thousand units is sufficient compensation. No. No? What do you mean, no? I mean... no. Well, then you're an idiot, lady. Hey there, hi. Star-Lord. Again, the leader of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Trax was just messing with you. 10,000 units would be more than enough. The amount I demanded was not a mistake. Don't you think 10,000 is a more reasonable amount, Drax? I do not. <laughs> He's... he is just... kidding. 10,000 units and we'll throw in a coupon. Enough! If I wished to hear curs whine, I'd visit the feeding pens. Yeah. 9,000 units for the Flora Colossus Destroyer. 9,537. Cage. <laughs> Deal. Storms of Seknoff grow ravenous. You will stay among my Hellraisers and revel as one of us. Yeah, this is great. We'd be. Thank you. flirting with a Signarfian beast handler. Who confirmed that Groot is definitely probably being kept in the new additions pen. Which is where exactly? Well, we didn't quite get that far. Good thing we're doing my plan. Tracker's pointing back to Lady Skull Suit's throne room, so uh, that's where I'm going. Tiny little problem. Boy, when these guys go, they go hard. Heavily inebriated. Doesn't mean they're not a threat. Some of my best blade work happens after I've had a few. If a few scut knuckles gotta die to save Groot, so be it. Whoa, whoa, hey! We are not here to start a war with the woman who's got her own private army. No, just rob her. If we do things right and be quiet, we'll be in and out with no one the wiser. Drax! <laughs> what part of quiet don't you understand? Dead is quiet, Peter Quill. No killing! Don't touch anything, don't step on anything, and don't break anything. Don't do anything stupid. If we mess this up, it's game over for crew. And us. <laughs> Gotta hand it to the lady. She knows how to throw a party. It was like this with the Ravagers, too. Yondu was a real work-hard, play-hard sort. Thanos doing either usually ended up with murder. 
We compare and study father figures because mine gave me a shock collar for my birthday. Once we ditch this place, I will show you guys a real party. Uh, I will construct festive headwear worthy of this celebration. I can't believe we haven't seen a single patrol. The throne room entrance is down there, so we just gotta, you know, leap our way across the chasm quietly. Gotta say, this is not what I had in mind when you pitched this whole hero for hire thing. Maybe Hellbender will give you a job. I'm not the one she was interested in. <laughs> She's right. We should have just sold Drax. Maybe next time we're in a bind, we can auction off a date with Drax. Katathias do not date. <laughs> Perform feats of virility and are judged worthy. But that how you ended up with your wife? Vivac was the most proficient killer in the village. Her affections were sought after more than most. Sounds like my kind of woman. That's it. Dead ahead. Past another bunch of lightweights. You're sure that tracker of yours is reliable? Trust me, this baby's paid for itself. Oh, you actually paid for it? I trust Rocket's doodad. Remember that yeah. time on Onsara? <laughs> I remember no such time. Before your days, Muscles, Quill got caught stealing eggs from this place on Cigar. Why am I not surprised? My doodad led me straight to him, hiding in a spike hatchery. Do your magic, Rocket. It is not magic. Just saying, have a little faith, Blueberry. My tech built them thumpers, it's gonna pop this door, and it'll find Groot. Am I good, or am I good? Those were the same options. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Tracker says... Ah, come on, you skaggy. I knew that thing was junk. Look, we saw him take Groot down the elevator, right? So we just gotta find the controls. Lady Ladi does probably got him on her fancy chair up there. Yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. See you on the next day. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the likes and everything. See you guys on the next day. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Adios.